Hello everyone, welcome back. We are uh, prepping ground today. It, uh, this is the field we disked the other day that was in such good shape. And it's still in pretty good shape. But it's uh, crusted over on top and the thing about a set of disc is it will compact soil. And, uh, but it, it, it's got in pretty good shape. So what we're gonna do is take New Holland and the uh, fill cultivator and we're gonna rip it up and uh, loosen it. Now what we're gonna do from where the tractor's sitting to about, and we, we'll leave an access road right here where this road comes in all the way across the field to about here. But we're gonna get plastic mulch put down and start transplanting cabbage and broccoli and then well what we're doing we're doing a uh, eight rows so eight rows uh, times 500 feet eight times six that's how wide they are apart it's 48 times 500 so uh, blah, 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 blah. not quite an acre uh, about a half acre actually and then we're gonna uh, leave a spray road and then later we'll put more plastic, leave a spray road, more plastic, leave a spray road, and then plant this last corner. We'll have sequential plantings of broccoli and cabbage in here. So that's what we're up to today. We'll take you along. And uh, I've I already run the disc over the field, the rock pile in front of the house. If I uh, saw the video the other day about it. Uh, I ran the disc over here. I'm gonna try to plant more corn and hit next week so what I'm trying to do the goal is is to get this worked up and hopefully maybe put the fertilizer on it tomorrow just this one section and then work it in incorporate it in and then maybe if it comes to rain on it or whatever as soon as it dries back up we'll put put our plastic down that's the plan so here we go
I just go ahead and broadcast the fertilizer. <coughs> and then pull the nine tooth through it to save a step. Which I could have. But what I'm and, and I'm I'm nine tooth in their field cultivating the whole field. Just to loosen it up. But I could have done that. But the reason I didn't is like I said, a disc will compact this soil. It may not compact the soil that you farm or, you know, your grandpa farmed, whatever. It will compact this soil. Uh, so, so what I'm trying to do is loosen that ground up. And the reason for that is, if I broadcast the fertilizer on it and went over it deep enough and enough time with the field cultivator, to properly loosen the soil, and I'll talk about that in just a second, then I'm gonna put the fertilizer too deep. So, what I've gotta do is do part of my field, my ground prep before I apply the fertilizer, <coughs> and then just incorporate the fertilizer with that pass. Instead of trying to prep the ground, I'm just putting the fertilizer in. That's all I'm gonna do with that pass. So, uh, Why do I need my ground loose? Well, that sun's probably going to be on you. I've got to have my ground... Let me back up. The bed... The bed shape from the mulch layer, and I'm sorry about that sun. That may be better. It, it has to run about six inches deep to work properly. And if I don't have the ground loose to that depth, it won't go deep enough <coughs> and won't form the bed and cover the plastic properly. In other words, I've got to have the ground loose enough to the working depth of the next implement coming across me, if that makes any sense. Now, <coughs> when I was a kid, and we grew tobacco, burly tobacco, we'd use a new hollow transplanter, or a hollow transplanter. And we would disc our ground, and then go in and run our transplanter. And it was a pain in the butt. You know, we'd fall with it and fall with it. Dad went and bought one of these field cultivators, and the transplanter worked beautifully from that point on. So if you got your ground properly prepared, the implement that you're running on it will work, will function the way it's supposed to. And that makes life a lot easier. So uh, just a little bit about why we're doing the way we do it. Uh, another reason I like to have it right rain on that fertilizer after I broadcast it. It seems to act, activate it and spread it out through the soil profile. If I broadcast it out, incorporate it in, and then pull it into those beds, <coughs> and don't irrigate it, that granular fertilizer may just lay in there. It won't dissolve and break down into the soil. So that's why I like for it to rain on it before I pull my bus that's just a little bit about that. I'm going to get back off here and keep going.
Okay, we've got this field worked up. It's ready for the fertilizer and then the plastic mulch. Uh, I got one more little strip down there to get, and I'm gonna load up. But uh, here's what I'm talking about. See how loose and how deep that ground is? And it's nice and smooth with the drag behind the plow does that. But it's a uh, it's ready to work so we're coming here broadcast fertilizer this way it is take nine tooth or fill cultivator incorporate in let it rain dry back up pull our plastic put a herbicide in between the plastic and then we'll be ready to transplant broccoli and cabbage so uh the next step is hopefully tomorrow evening get the fertilizer on this get incorporated then I've got to get that rock pile ready to plant corn. And then I'm going to have to start picking strawberries pretty shortly. So uh, if you've subscribed, we thank you. We thank you a lot. If you like what we're doing and have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that little notification bell. So you'll know when we put up a video. And uh, see a video you want to comment on, ask a question about it, whatever. Please do so. Thanks for watching. Good night, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.